Unions say they're outraged by pay rises being given to WA politicians at a time when public sector workers have been told to accept inflation-capped wage deals. The Treasurer says he's disappointed by the decision but insists the Salaries and Allowances Tribunal is independent of government. For public sector workers like Jonathan Nugent, the latest pay rise for politicians is hard to swallow. I came into work this morning and the mood was noticeably angry. The Independent Salaries and Allowances Tribunal has ruled all West Australian MPs will receive a pay rise of about $5,500. For backbenchers, that equates to an increase of 3.8%, well above the rate of inflation, which is what's being offered to public servants under the government's new wages policy. We do say it is hypocritical of the government to uh, be taking with one hand and uh, offering so little with the other. The Health Services Union has vowed to use the increase as ammunition in its campaign for a pay rise above the government's offer of 2.75 per cent. I think that the public are angry that, that politicians on the one hand will be getting a significant pay increase, yet they're trying to uh, restrict legitimate claims. The government won't release its submission to the tribunal but says it asked for restraint and called for the state wages policy to be taken into account. The Treasurer has expressed disappointment in the Tribunal's decision, arguing it should have kept any increase in line with inflation. We have a policy, it should apply to us as well as everyone else. The pay rises come into effect from July the 1st. Jade McMillan, ABC News.